The drama unfolds at home in the apartment behind closed doors. Victims are threatened, coerced and beaten by their own partners. The latest figures show that domestic abuse usually happens among couples. In 26% of cases, it's between couples that are separated. In 13.7% of cases, it's the parents that are abusing their children. Sometimes relatives dish out the violence. Visitors to the White Ring Advice Centre in Zurich for victims of domestic abuse have terrible stories to tell. Every year, 150 people, most of them women, seek help here. Lawyer Carlo Hefferly has been helping battered wives for 20 years. How can you help them? Oh, that's Marina. So what was it? By listening to them, then I try to help them in other ways. I may have to find them a hotel room or other accommodation, call a doctor or organise psychological help. Carlo Heffeli says many of those seeking help are foreigners. In Switzerland, 35 people die every year because of violence within the family. The number of fatalities rises annually. Recently, in Vettingen, Canton Argel, a Turkish man shot his wife and then turned the gun on himself. The husband just couldn't accept his wife's decision to leave him. Monica Kuntz is in charge of the domestic violence unit at the Cantonal Police in Thurgau. Last year alone, Thurgau officers were called out for 720 separate incidents of abuse. These cases are among the most dangerous the police have to deal with. You're confronted with violent people. The situation in question is escalating, or has already escalated. People are uptight, overwrought and highly emotional. The police make good use of the so-called Wegweisung, a kind of restraining order. If we issue this order, the perpetrator has to immediately pack up the things they'll need for the next two weeks. They have to hand over the apartment keys to the police for safekeeping. The perpetrator is not allowed to return to the apartment or house during this period and they're forbidden any form of contact with the victim. In Switzerland, the police can also lock up the perpetrator for 24 hours. Locking them up is quite helpful. I think it's a good tool for A, imposing authority, B, making him realize he's made a mistake, and C, for calming him down. The thousands of victims of domestic abuse in Switzerland need to seek help before it's too late. It's important that victims go to the police and lodge an official complaint.